Good morning, Bombers. I'm Cody. And I'm Maddie, and welcome to today's segment of Blue Bomber News. Today is Tuesday, October 18th, Day 2. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next meeting for Avenger will be after school on Monday, October 24th in B108. The staff will be planning the next issue. New members are welcome. If you do not like your school pictures, Picture Day Makeup Day will be Wednesday, October 26th. You must bring your packet of pictures back and turn it in to have retakes done. If you missed the original picture day, this will also be the day you will have it taken for a school ID. FBLA will be having a fall festival during enrichments A, B, and C on October 26th. Tickets will be on sale at lunch for $5. You must sign up for one enrichment and pay for a ticket in advance. It will be a day four and you are not allowed to change your lunch. Your ticket will allow you to have a coffee or hot chocolate and a baked good. We will have candy, games, and the courtyard will be available for outdoor games and face painting. Any junior or senior student eligible to apply for National Honor Society can pick up their application packet in room B219. Application packets are due back Monday, October 31st by 2.30 p.m. If you are unsure about your eligibility, please see Mrs. Baumgart in room B219. Attention all animal lovers. PAC will be holding their annual pet photo contest this month. Submit your favorite picture of your pet, just being cute or dressed up in their Halloween costume, to be entered in a chance to win a prize. Submissions can be given to Fiona Winger or Miss Allen, and entry cost is $1. Buddies Club members should check Schoology for important information about our upcoming club meeting. The Guidance Office will be hosting different colleges, universities, and branches of the military in the near future. Anyone interested in attending a visit should stop by the Guidance Office to sign up for a pass. Currently scheduled visits are Northampton Community College on October 19th and Lebanon Valley College on October 20th. Sold Out Club will meet after school on Wednesday, October 19th in room B224 for devotions and prayer. Please see Mrs. Delacour for more information or with questions. On October 27th, from 4 to 6 p.m., FBLA will be having a safe trick-or-treat night that is open to the community. It will be $5 per person and we will be giving out candy to all the children at the decorated doors. We will also have crafts and games for the kids. Volunteers are still needed. See Mrs. Palumbo if you are interested. Video Club will be meeting today after school to edit their Horror Fest videos. And now, let's take a look at today's forecast. Today will be a high of 54 degrees, and here's a look at your extended forecast. Athletics for today are golf, away at PIAA Golf Championships. Happy birthday to Aiden Cromer and Atticus Scotch. Today's celebrity birthdays are Zac Efron and Tyler Posey. Today in history, in 1931, famous inventor Thomas Edison died at his estate in West Orange, New Jersey. Every year, one day in October, my whole entire school would dress up in orange. And I mean everyone. It wasn't a trend, but something more special. Something called Unity Day. Unity Day is just like the name. A day where everyone comes together and stands up against bullying and unites together as a whole. The whole point was to say that we as a united, close-knit community are standing against common things like bullying and other hurtful words. So why do we celebrate Unity Day? Well, first of all, Unity Day was created by Pacers National Bullying Prevention Center, and their motto is that together we can create a world without bullying. And that's true. Together, we can make the world a better place and make it so everyone feels free to be who they are. So why do we wear orange on Unity Day? Well, first of all, the color orange is already associated with the month of October. As the leaves are turning from their amazing green to these beautiful shades of red, orange, yellow, we're celebrating something important. Another reason is that orange is associated with safety. If you've ever been driving down a road, you notice these orange traffic cones, and they're usually there to make sure that someone actually notices that they're there in the first place. Orange, especially neon orange, is really eye-catching, and that's the third reason that they chose orange. They want to make a statement that we're standing against bullying and that we don't want this to happen. So wearing orange really just shows that you care. 
So, how can you participate in Unity Day while we're all stuck at home? The first thing you can do is wear orange. It's one of the simplest tasks, and you know that you're supporting something big. Also, you should be an upstander instead of a bystander. With all of us on the internet, there's such a high risk of people being cyberbullied. And with fake profiles and people thinking they can be mean behind the screen, a lot of it's still happening today. If you see anything, then you should either report it or you can be brave and stand up against that person. Lastly, just be kind to everyone and let them know that you're there. Being united doesn't mean that you have to do something big. Just show that you're there and that you care. Lastly, just remember that even if it's not Unity Day, you shouldn't be doing these things. I'm not saying that you should wear orange every day, but standing up for someone in need or helping someone get through something is the right way to go. I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great Unity Day. Bye! Thanks for watching and have a great day, Bombers!